Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhair Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the games that I played an hour back. Now I was playing here as white and I started off with d4, often responds with d5. I went with bishop g5 which helps me uh, prevent opponent from playing e6 early because e6 with e6 often can develop the bishop, can develop the queen. And what I'm doing is here is by placing bishop is just spinning the pawn for the time being which uh, restricts my opponent from natural way of developing. So open went goes with queen d6. Now I played c3 here, uh, preventing any moves like queen to b4, which can give a check uh, and also attack my pawn on b2 simultaneously. Well, open gets the knight out on f6, and here I play e3. Open goes with knight to e4, trying to attack my bishop here, which now comes back onto f4, hitting the queen. Now queen comes back onto g6, allowing me a free pawn. And I obliged it. Open develops the knight onto a5. Now I can. I thought of taking the knight first, uh, not a check for sure. But if I take the knight, open can take back, uh, take the pawn here, and then suddenly my rook is vulnerable. So I thought I'll just bring my bishop backwards first. Anyways, a knight in the corner is not much effective because open has taken half the squares possible for the knight already away which is on the other side. If uh, if the knight is in center, it can go to eight squares. Knights in the corner uh, can only go to four max, out of which again, a couple of them are restrained by white already. Uh, and other two are very passive. In fact, this one is also covered up with the bishop. So only way knight is useful or was useful was not being developed, which is sad. So I just got my bishop backwards. Owen plays e6. I go with bishop to d3, pinning the knight. Uh, opponent removes the pin by placing queen on to g5 here, which allows me to develop another piece with momentum. So knight comes to f3, hitting the queen. Now queen sidesteps on to h5. Uh, here I just got my bishop backwards, uh, hoping for a discovery later on. Opponent takes on the uh, bishop and I take back with the pawn here. Now opponent goes with bishop on to d3. Uh, d6, sorry, uh, trying to take a pawn because I cannot take back. Uh, queen can take the rook otherwise, which is not defended. So I thought I'll castle here. Open castles too. I go with knight to e5 here. Open just moves, moves the queen away because it was a discover attack. Uh, so queen had to be moved. So queen at 6. Here I take on the knight, spoiling the pawn structure for my opponent, but opponent didn't take the bishop straight away, but take a pawn e3, which was hanging for free which I missed out and I had to move the king then. Open does take the bishop and now I attack the queen with the rook. Uh, queen goes back and now my queen goes on to g4, uh, trying to just improve position of my queen, but open now kicks my knight away by placing f6. Knight goes back on to f3 and now comes e5. Sneaky move, uh, bishop hitting the queen. So I had to offer queen exchange, queen on h4. Open can take here, and which is nice for the opponent as well. But open denies the queen exchange, plays his queen on g6, which was, uh, as for me, quite logical as well. Uh, opponent is in, in a good position, don't want to trade off pieces, can build up some attack from here. I take on the pawn, open takes back, and now I develop the other knight, uh, trying to connect both my rooks because I have a kind of a last rank weakness here earlier uh, with my uh, only rook was here if I just move the rook somehow. Suddenly, uh, the rook here can come on to f1 and checkmate. Now, uh, now pawn forward, e4 by opponent. I go with knight to d4. Uh, opponent places bishop on to b7, uh, which I didn't understand because I thought this diagonal was pretty nice for the opponent already. Maybe opponent could have played rook to b8 and then taken the pawn and try to uh, get into my position from the other side of the board. Uh, here I went with uh, rook to f1, trying to exchange rooks. Open plays pawn forward, e3, and now I go with knight to f3 so that uh, I don't have to exchange as well. Plus, I had this in my mind if my open now pushes, I can take back with the knight, so I'm good here. Open gets the rook on to e8. I place other rook on to e1, and now open plays pawn forward, but missed out that I can take it easily. Take I take with the rook, open takes back, I take back with the knight, and I'm in a decent position now. So I fended off the attack, which was happening now. Earlier, I was attacking and open fend it off. So quite equal kind of a game. Here, my knight was uh, attacked. So I had to move the knight, knight to f4. Uh, 
preparing for maybe a knight goes to e6 and then i'm threatening some kind of an attack or pressure building on to uh, g7 eventually so when it takes on the knight i take back with the pawn i cannot take back with the queen because again rook uh, is attacking the square now queen comes to e2 and now i thought let me just exchange the queens uh, because otherwise i'll be losing uh, the b2 pawn and i don't want that to happen so queen to f2 opponent does take here i take back and opponent get to take f2 again now it's kind of an equal position with white having slight advantage 0.9 is not much i just move my king to g1 uh, opponent gets bishop to c6 here i go with a uh, knight to d4 now opponent can take the rook opponent does take i take back now my advantage here has is basically these two pawns are double pawns there's one pawn in the center and i have extra pawns here so i should be able to convert this uh, so here comes bishop to b5 now i thought of taking it uh, with my knight but then i on second thought was uh, why should i give my knight away uh, because uh, this bishop uh, is only going to attack my light squared uh, pawns which are only couple of them i can put them on dark squares and i'll be good uh, plus i can maneuver my knight and grab this a7 at least and i think i'll be able to dispose of the bishop eventually because the point is if i now take i'll be fixing up my open pawn structure uh, but still i will have a majority and my king is in, in towards the center so i should have gone that way but instead i chose to play a3 which was kind of bad eventually after bishop to d3 i went with bishop uh, king to e3 a uh, bishop now stabilizes itself on to e4 and now i thought i'll just push my pawn on g4 open plays g6 allowing another pawn forward move g5 now king comes up on to g7 i should have gone with my king as well but i went with knight maybe i was too greedy to have a pawn there open pushes for h6 i take on uh, with the g pawn open takes back and i take up the free pawn which was hanging there and now king starts moving towards h5 i move my knight back uh, and here open plays h4 suddenly i realize that okay my pawn is in trouble should i go back yes i should i went with king to f2 here my open plays h3 uh, king h3 now i can defend this pawn easily but i don't know what happened i i missed out completely and i played a knight to e5 missing out on the pawn open does take uh, and then i tried to break open this i was irritated with the center pawn open does take i take back with the knight and now open starts pushing g5 i have to come back uh, but the problem here is uh, i cannot take yet because there's no pawn forward coming and if i play my knight early then open can kick it away with the king so king h3 comes up now and i cannot get my uh, knight also here and now open will be pushing this pawn further and i have to do something about it i went with f3 king f3 open goes back with the bishop uh, i just push my king down open follows up with the pawn i got to uh, g1 making sure that there is no pawn promotion happening so i went on a draw situation from here on open pushes i went with the knight uh, just maneuvering my knight there and then pushed for a3 open goes with king f3 i push the pawn further open takes i take back with the pawn again maybe i can take with the knight uh, because then op open cannot take that can be a tricky thing because if the open takes suddenly i'm winning this cannot be stopped from queening so maybe i could have tried that but instead i went with taking with the pawn and i was left with knight uh, against a lone uh, pawn which of course i could have stopped easily so eventually i just take on the pawn with the knight and it's a draw so yeah i had my chances in this game uh, i should have won it uh, nine out of 10 times maybe but it ended up as a draw maybe the focus was not right uh, plus uh, some issues with the time management as well uh, either i'm too fast these days or i'm a bit too slow have to find my right tuning for blitz again uh, was playing rapid in between was playing a lot of bullet so timing wise is something i am feeling that i'm not on the right spot there but i'll get back pretty soon i hope you enjoyed the video do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now and i shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always thanks for your time take care bye bye